Hello everybody, my name is Cornelia and welcome back to Bright Girl from Fever. Today we will talk about flat sensor. So, sensor which is responsible for detecting flooding. It is also a built-in temperature sensor, but all the information I will provide you in a minute. Remember that the first video will be about the general, more basic information, and the second one will provide you some more detailed uh, and advanced information about, uh, for example, installation, pairing with the, um, with the gateway, configuring the device, but that will be in the next uh, video, so you need to watch us, obviously. Um, in this video, I will uh, provide you some basic information, as I mentioned before. The flat sensor uh, includes also the temperature sensor, okay? So, uh, it can be configured in two ways. The first one is to use this device only as a temperature sensor. Uh, on the other hand, if you, of course, want to use the main functionality, which is detect flooding, uh, you can configure it as a temperature sensor connected with flat sensor. The next thing you need to remember about is the fact that in case something goes wrong with the gateway, it's broken, uh, the supply is uh, faulty or anything else, so this device will not communicate with the gateway and will not be within the Z-Wave network, it will still detect flooding, okay? So it will still um, be responsible for your security. So you don't need to be worried about it, uh, that if you have a problem with your gateway, uh, it will not detect uh, important, um, important events. So in case the gateway is dead and the device will not be able to communicate with, um, with the gateway, uh, you will be informed about the detection in two ways. You will not receive the push notification as the gateway is dead, so it will not be possible to send it for you, but you will be informed um, using the uh, acoustic signal, so you will hear that something goes wrong in your home. Um, and on the other hand, you will, ha you will have the possibility to, to see it on the device, so the diode will flash uh, in front of the device. Under this device, you will find three pins, which are responsible for detecting flooding. You can, as I said before, put it on the floor and directly um, detect the flooding. But on the other hand, some clients don't want to put it on the floor because of the security or it doesn't look good. You can put it in a wardrobe okay, and hide it, um, but you will need the extended um, sensor, which will detect flooding. Also, some requirements connected with the sensor, uh, external probe, um, I will provide you in the next video, but in that one I want you to know that you don't need to uh, detect it directly, but you can use this um, just wires, and thanks for that you can uh, detect the flooding. Many clients just don't want to uh, put it on the um, on the floor, you can of course put it on a table or uh, near the sink, and uh, the wires will be touching the floor. You may say it's a battery-powered device. And you're right, because you can um, put there a battery uh, and supply it using this battery. Uh, but there is a second option. You can also use this power supply and uh, supply this device using 12 to 24 volts DC. Um, there are, inside the device, there are some terminals which are, allows you to connect this supply uh, to this device. And thanks for that, uh, it will be supplied all the time. Also, what are the advantages of that kind of solution? Uh, also, I will tell you in the next video. Um, but there are also many clients who use the battery, okay, so the battery is inside. But on the other hand, they still connect it to the power supply, uh, so the uh, 24 volts DC. And thanks for that, the battery uh, acts as an emergency uh, supply. So in case the water appear in the bathroom, for example, okay, you don't have to be worried about this device because it will be drifting on the surface of the water. Okay, so it will still inform you about um, the, the event or the water inside your home, even if it will be uh, like 20 minutes after detection. So it will still provide you uh, the information about the uh, water detection. Uh, this button allows you to um, pair the device with the gateway. By clicking three times on this button, uh, you can pair it with the uh, Home Center 3 Lite, for example, and add it to your system. 
You can also remove uh, the device from the gateway using this uh, button also by clicking three times. There is also a possibility to enter the menu uh, and the color of the diode that's here. I will inform you about the functionality uh, that you are picking. TMP button also uh, provides you the information if anybody opened the case. In case it will be opened, you can also be informed about it uh, using the push notification. Okay, for now, I think that's all. I know these informations were quite simple and basic, uh, but if you want to have some more advanced, please um, watch the next video, which will be connected with the installation and pairing it with the gateway. For now, thank you very much. Remember about comment our video, like it or subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.